Kathy's Valentine is pretty decent. This is an animated short film from 1989. It's directed by Everett Brown and written by Kathy Gaz White. And we have a voice cast including Kathleen Will Hoyt as Kathy and Rob Paulson as Irving. And this is set in the run-up to Valentine's Day. And our protagonist, Kathy has a lot of conflicting emotions. Part of her is very much in love with the idea of Valentine's Day and the romance, and she's in a relationship with Irving, and things are going well, but then every time they're together, they seem to bicker, and then it kind of goes back and forth, and it's a complete roller coaster of a relationship, even over the short duration for this film. The film is about... 30 minutes and the, the timing is perfect, the pacing is great, I think it's the perfect length to tell this story without dragging it on for too long and the characters are, I feel, very realistic and I think the relationship between Kathy and Irving is very realistic as well, maybe a, a little bit more roller coastery than it should be, it doesn't seem like the healthiest relationship but in general I feel like the, their thoughts, their, their feelings that they express do feel very believable and I think that that worked very well. There are a couple of great scenes that I liked that I'll mention in a moment, some personal highlights. But in general, I thought this was a, a really fun concept. I really like the animation. It's, it's kind of rough. In fact, it's very rough, but in a way that's kind of satisfying and charming. And I, and I rather like the animation. I don't think it'll be for everybody. I don't think the narrative will be for everybody. But if it sounds like it would appeal to you... I definitely recommend it. I haven't read any of the Kathy comic strips on which this is based, so I can't say if this is what it typically feels like with this character or if these are the kind of narratives that the comic strip usually addresses. If anybody has any thoughts on that, please feel free to share. But based purely on this, Kathy was an interesting enough character. The animation is quite satisfying. The narrative flows well. The pacing is really good. For the most part, the characters' reactions to one another and their behaviours seem really, really believable. So I thought it was very well done. And on the one hand, we do have a very romantic colour palette. We do have a lot of pinks and reds. But then there are scenes where, for example, yellow is the main colour. So if you're not a fan of animations that are too sickly sweet with a lot of pinks and reds and very romantic colours like that, very traditionally romantic colours at least, there are plenty of scenes where it's not overabundant, so that's that's something that's worth bearing in mind if you're thinking it might not be for you based on the colour palette, but actually there's a lot of variety, a lot of variety in the colour palette. The voice acting is very good, of course, no complaints at all. I certainly rather enjoyed it. And I will now mention, I think, two personal highlights. One is a quote, and one is a particular scene. And the quote that I want to share is actually, I think, at the beginning. And Kathy's therapist says to her, it's okay to feel this good, Kathy. And I love that because I feel like most of us, if we feel happy, we start to worry about that because things go wrong in life. There is no such thing as a perfect life. And of course, nobody can be happy forever. But I feel like it's a natural response that if you feel happy about something, there's this this concern that something's about to go wrong because you can't be happy forever. When's it going to end? But as Kathy's therapist pointed out, it's okay to feel happy. It doesn't mean that you're overlooking something. It doesn't mean that something's about to go wrong. Sometimes that does happen, of course, but I like that. I think that that's, that's a reminder that can benefit pretty much everybody. If you're happy, it's okay to be happy. And I, I really appreciated that. I thought it was very, very brief, but very effective. And the other scene that I loved is when we're in the jewelers and the jeweler starts to ask all of these questions about what kind of jewelry does the gift recipient wear? Do they wear gold or silver? And then that seems like an easy question. They wear silver. Okay, but then what kind? Sterling silver, this silver, what kinds of designs do they like? And there are just so many questions and it kind of never, I've never bought jewelry for somebody. And obviously jewellery is a very personal thing. I'm very particular about the jewellery that I wear. I feel most people are. But if I were to buy jewellery for somebody and I didn't know where to start, I would definitely be intimidated by all of those questions because unless you have all of the answers, it seems like a very confusing thing. And it absolutely is. So I found that to be very entertaining. If anybody has ever bought jewellery for somebody, I'd love to know how it went. Were you able to just pick something immediately or did you need help from the jewellers and then there were a million questions? I feel like it would be easier to just look at a display 
and find something that looks like the jewellery the person wears rather than having to answer all of these questions like you're filling out a survey. So I did find that to be very, very entertaining. Really, really enjoyable narrative, likeable characters, really sweet animation with a really satisfying and varied colour palette. It might not be for everybody, but if Kathy's Valentine sounds like it would appeal to you, then I definitely recommend checking it out.